Hey everybody, it's Colton for MMOHuts.com and today we are going to look at the new player experience for Vainglory's PC Alpha. Um, I wanted to do more of a first look, like a, an evaluation of where the game's at, but it's too early in its alpha to really give it a fair shake, which I'm trying to be uh, more considerate of. So we're going to look at the new player experience. This is what you will go through the very first time that you boot up this game. Uh, it's going to greet you with a tutorial. You'll have the option to skip it if you've played Vainglory a bunch, but I recommend going through it, uh, even if you've played it on tablet or, or mobile, uh, just to get a feel for how things work on PC. So we're going to go ahead and click on the first bit of the tutorial here. Okay, so if you didn't know, here we are. Um, there's a bit of a loading screen. I cut it out. Um, it's The thing about this alpha is that it still thinks you're playing on a tablet. Um, it, it tells you how best to hold the tablet or mobile phone. So that's it? I just tap on bad guys? Um, <laughs> which is a little bit vexing, but it'll get fixed. I'm positive. I, I look at this less as an alpha and more of a, like, a pre-alpha proof of concept. Alright, now it's gonna right-click to move. That's the same as pretty much any MOBA. Um, QWER are where we're gonna find our abilities. I believe it's about to teach us how to level those up. Alright. It makes you manually no, click them in the beginning well for reasons I'm not 100% certain of. But once you're in play, oh, it could be something wrong with my hotkeys. He's quite just basically just teaching you how to level up skills and how to fight an enemy champion. Finn is dealing huge damage. Use your healing flask in your inventory to heal yourself. Well done. Cool. And you get stars at the end of your tutorial that show you how well you did. Um, you can't really move on until you complete the objectives that I know of, so why exactly it does this, not 100% sure. But you do get Kashka um, as your first character, and you will unlock more characters for completing the tutorial. It unlocks um, a handful of characters for you to play with. with Alright, so here we've got our... I'm gonna... This is super frustrating. I have no idea why it's not letting me use QWE and R. Or QWE. They prefer to attack them instead of you. Quick, go attack the turret while it's busy attacking our minions. That thing is very scary. Now, Kashka's abilities all work on the turret, so uh, during this tutorial, make sure you're using your abilities to get through it faster. All my minions are gone. They're doomed. The turret wins. Another group of friendly minions will be along shortly. Wait until the next wave arrives and escort them to the turret again. But basically, it's just going to make you do this. I mean, it's it's a tutorial. It's really straightforward. If you, like I said in my most uh, anticipated games of 2019 video, if you have played. Um, if you've played any MOBA, you pretty much know how Vainglory works mechanically. Um, except for that each character only has two abilities and an ultimate, and then everybody gets a healing potion. So we got... Catherine and Gwen. Uh, and then the final lesson is it's gonna have us play a 3v3 game with bots. Which we have to do. Uh, to complete the tutorial. So again, if you're familiar, it might behoove you to skip the tutorial. But there you are. It's always good for a little refresher. Alright, so here we are. This is going to walk us through the process of a bot game. Uh, it's, it's a very guided bot game. Um, and it'll probably be over very quickly.
All right, so we're gonna move on up here. We're gonna take this tower. See, it's just everything is like super weak. Towers in this game do not die nearly that quickly. Which I kind of appreciate that they try to keep things moving along instead of like roping you into a multi-hour series of bot matches. There you go, that's the tutorial. Really simple, really straightforward. I think minus the load time, that took maybe 10 minutes. Very simple. Okay, after you complete the tutorial, it's going to give you this, like, today in Vainglory, showing you what's new. Um, things you can access, like the, the Festive Bunny Box, the new Battle Pass, Snow Queen Celeste. Uh, shows you if you can buy these things and, and what else you can do. I'm going to, real quick... All right, and then we're uh, now another thing we can do uh, once once you've completed the tutorial, you'll want to tap up here in the corner or click. It still says tap because it thinks it's the tablet version of the game, um, and you can sign up with your email to create a to create an account. I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. And you're given some stuff, uh, you're given some chests, and you have the... Now, if you don't want your name to be a bunch of gibberish, you need to click choose player name. And, uh, so I will choose... There we go. And you get some free chests to open, which take, sometimes take a second. Um, but you get, uh, the silver currency, which I believe is called glory. Yep. And, uh, we'll go ahead and jump right into a, uh, an actual bot game. So you guys can see how that works. I recommend, even if you've played a ton of MOBAs before, I recommend jumping into a bot game, uh, to find, if you've never played Vainglory before, to find the character that you like and kind of give yourself a game to get familiar with them. Uh, for, for this game, I'm going to play, uh, let's see, who do I want to play? I'll play Idris, because he is pretty cool and doesn't afraid of anything. Default. When you're in a game with actual players, you'll be able to click here and choose where you want to go and what role you want to play so that people can call roles during champion select. Uh, which is helpful for seeing what your team needs. Which, pay attention to what your team needs. Don't be that guy. Alright, so once you're in a game, it'll ask you to choose a build. This is basically going to play off your uh, recommended item list for each different build. And uh, makes it easier to... Um, kind of choose interesting stories. your items more quickly during gameplay, which Enemy hero it is not allowing me to use my keyboard in any fashion, so this is going to be an interesting game. But it's a bot match. It really shouldn't matter that much.
I should not have picked him with with not being able to use my keyboard. That was a mistake. Water in every direction is a terrifying luxury. But that's okay. So basically how this character works is he's kind of like Master Yi from League, um, except he can also do ranged attacks. Uh, he actually has his ranged W, which is like a, uh, almost like, oh god, I can't remember the, the character from League of Legends that throws the big chakram, because I haven't played League in forever. But uh, kind of like that. Um... This is going to be a death, which would be embarrassing to say the least. But it does follow him as he moves away. So uh, the chakram's super useful. I'm going to see if I can't. There we go. See? And we're on the board. I'm going to clean up some last hits here. really wish I knew why. That's got to be a bug, because I was playing on my laptop yesterday, and I didn't have that problem. So I don't know if it's to do with my keyboard, or... I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to place a ward. And then I'm going to back. This is an early alpha, so it also could have could have been a bug, like from a recent update that just made the keyboard not work, which would be less than great, but that's fixable at least. So we're gonna go heavy hardcore auto attacks for this build. Interesting And real quick, there's actually a button down here. If you're uncertain of how your character or his abilities works, you can click this question mark, and it will show you how your abilities work. Uh, based on what stat I itemize into, I'll get buffs to uh, my melee attacks and my ranged attacks. Uh, basically, once I hit 100 power in either physical attack or crystal, which is like ability damage, um, each will unlock a new facet of the character's power passively uh which i really want to get to for this build i really want to get to a hundred power a hundred crystal power as fast as humanly possible because that will unlock for us some ranged attacks and i died i got way too greedy There are probably people watching who are super good at MOBAs who probably just about turn themselves inside out watching that happen. Also, pinging has no dedicated key yet like it does in most MOBAs. So if you want to ping, you will have to click up here in the top left where my mouse is and uh, then click on the, on the screen where you want to ping. So this game has been ported to PC in the most direct sense possible in that almost nothing has changed from the tablet version except for they added keyboard hotkeys that I guess sometimes don't work. All right, we're going to go ahead and take this first tower. And then we're going to take this first dude right here. Also, uh, another thing, just while I'm thinking about it, like Dota, this game has a shop in the jungle. Um, th there are not, to my knowledge, items that can only be bought there, which is a, a, typically a Dota thing, the secret shop. Um, so at least it's got that going for it, but there is an item shop in the jungle, so you don't have to leave lane to buy things if you're doing really well in your laning. Uh so that's something to keep in mind as well. I'll try to show it off. Uh, 
That was dumb. I don't know why I thought ulting him was a good idea under tower, but I definitely did do it. Oh, right. I can't, I can't back with the keyboard. All right, so we should have just hit 100 power, which you can check by clicking this and clicking on more info. Uh, nope, we're not, we're at 127 weapon power, but we're not quite at 100 crystal power, so our ranged attacks are not online yet. Having a ranged auto attack on this character makes him incredibly versatile, but you have to get there. You have to unlock it. We got that free assist. It's because we managed to tag him. And see, the thing about the keyboard not working the way it should right now is that this character actually has an element of timing to him. If you do your Q and then either your W or E with proper timing in succession, you'll get, uh, they'll get buffed and get added effects. I will tell you about heat, my friend. I am just going to tank this tower. Okay, now we're gonna back off. And let's go see if we can't buy some more items. Oh, nope, hold on. Okay, cool, my allies are clutch. This character is also a pretty decent uh, jungler because he has a combo meter. Um, if I'm not, as long as I'm not thinking of the wrong character. See if I come over here. Okay, I am thinking of the wrong character. Never mind. I'm still relatively new to this. I've played a fair bit on tablet, but I mostly play like one or two characters on tablet because I find aiming the skill shots a little difficult on tablet. Um, so yeah, this is the item shop in the jungle. And we're going to go ahead and buy our next crystal. It doesn't heal you like your base does, but that's got to be expected. All right, looks like we're closing in on the end of this thing. And there we go. See, now we have our ranged attacks online. Uh, our ranged basic attacks. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, right. We haven't taken down the towers around that yet, so we can't kill it. Yeah, and this, this game's pretty much over. There we go. And so that's the new player experience for Vainglory. Um, you'll you'll play a a t short tutorial. You'll jump in. You'll you'll choose your player name, make an account, um, and then you'll be able to start uh, retaining the stuff you unlock. And it's it's fun. It's a little simpler than some of your other mobas because you only have like two abilities and an ultimate to worry about per character as opposed to three. Um, there are some active items, but not nearly as many as a game like uh, League of Legends. Uh, and then, of course, you have quests you can do, which you can click over here to, to look at. And uh, you can't play in ranked until you reach a certain like level uh, and, and do a certain amount of things. So this shows you your progress. Like Completing these quests will help you get to the appropriate level uh, to play ranked. Of course, you get free chests every two hours, just as a quick aside. I actually did get a new talent uh, for Koshka, which you can get from chests, which those are, think, kind of like runes uh, in League of Legends, except they're character-specific. Um, I don't have any more free chests, but I'll get two more in uh, an hour and 45. 
And yeah, that's that's pretty much the game in a nutshell. Uh, there's obviously cosmetics and things, but we'll we'll get more into that once the game is a little more stable. Uh, the game runs fine, but I still haven't figured out why I'm having difficulties with some of the other, like the keyboard not working. But thank you for tuning in. Uh, we'll have more coverage on Vainglory in both its PC and mobile form uh, as time goes on. And thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time right here on MMO Huts.